Okay, uh, welcome to my video series uh, setting up Domino 8.5.1 on OpenSUSE 11.1 64-bit in VirtualBox 3.0.8 on Microsoft Windows 7 64-bit. Welcome to part 8.5.1, the Domino setup, and I am your host, Devin Olson. <clears throat> Uh, when we last left, uh, at the end of the last part, we had just finished the installation of Domino, and I've signed in as root, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out, because I don't need to be root anymore, and go ahead and exit out of that, and I'm just going to come over here to this nice little startup guy, and I'm going to double-click him, and uh, it's asking me for the password. This password that it's asking me is for my notes user password, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. <coughs> And here we go, maximum number of file handles. I'm going to need to change that eventually. Here's the Domino 851 server setup beginning. All right, nice fun dialog. We're about to set up our new uh, Domino server uh, to change fonts or language systems. I, settings, I could click fonts, whatever. I'm going to just uh, continue and take all the defaults. So let me hit next. You could set it up as a first server or a standalone server. I'm going to set it up as an additional server. And if you recall, when I uh, got this started, oops, wrong button. Um, uh, you'll you'll recall I brought in some certifier IDs and some um, <coughs> and, uh, server ID, so they should be sitting in here right now. Uh, there's my certifier ID. And there's my LMLPQRS. There's my server ID. So I'm setting this up using an, an existing Domino installation. I'm not setting up the first server. If you want to set up your first server, you can. But I'm setting this up as an additional server because I already have a development environment that I need to deal with. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. A server ID is stored on a floppy disk CD and network drive. And look, it's already there. That's the server ID. And I'm going <coughs> to go ahead and hit next. 